I've been gone for a minute now. I'm back with a IP stand. Mm. Let's go to YouTube. You know what it is. TSJ stuff. Looks all that good stuff. Uh, as you've seen in the beginning of the video, actually doing something I haven't done in quite some time. Might have been a year or so. Shit, maybe longer than that. I don't know. But y'all know, I haven't, a lot of people have asked me, like, I need to bring back the hype piece theory. But as I said in previous vlogs, discussion videos, it's hard to do that nowadays because everything's raffle or like it's a two it's a two day process and i don't have two days meaning you gotta camp out for the ticket put, get your name on it and all that extra bullshit and then you the person who got the ticket has to come back the next day or the next previous week like say they do the tickets on sunday the next Sunday or the next Saturday, you have to pick the shoe up, and you have to do it. You can't send nobody because they got your ID, your number, and all that shit. I don't give a fuck how much information. You can call on the phone and everything. It don't matter. You, whoever got that ticket, has to come pick that shoe up. And I can never do that. I work 16-hour days almost every day. I, I don't work. I work every other weekend. I never have both weekends off, so it, that was out of the question, so... The uh, having to connect always saved my life until the prices went up on damn near every sneaker price went up. So not just Jordans, everything, but we're mainly talking about Jordans. So that's the re that's basically the reason I never did it. Well, I stopped doing it, should I say? But uh, I'm not gonna go into deep details because I'll be on this. This this will be a 15 minute video before we even get to the actual good part y'all like but and i'm gonna get into details when i do ever review if i get this year whatever but i actually put in a ticket for a raffle only one i didn't win but my wife she actually put one in and she won but this is the uh downfall about it it's in delaware and that's really like a, where I'm from is a little trip. It's like, I've been saying about 30 minutes. And she already told me she had plans in the morning to go uh, get her hair done or whatever. So the place actually said we have the 12 to pick the shoes up. It's only 7, like 7, 10, 7, 15 now. So I called around everywhere. A lot of places didn't even do raffles. A lot of places did first come, first serve, which I was like, Willis, what you talking about? Like, I didn't, I really didn't believe it. So I, I called a Foot Locker. They said they ain't doing raffles. I called a Finish Locker. They wasn't doing raffles. And uh, I think, damn near all the villas ain't doing raffles. So I'm like, shot. And I'm like, if you don't know by now, it's the air drum for uh, White Cement. So I was shot because, for one, it's a, already a shoe everybody always wants every time it drops. But now, everybody wants it even more now because of the simple fact it has the Nike Air on the back. And I feel as though the reason why, well, two reasons why this shoe, you don't have to go super hard, dumb hard. You don't have to camp out like that. Even do raffles, should I say, for it because two things. The first factor, they overproduce the shit out of these from what I'm told. Like, basically, they're in the numbers of which we've been begging for, like 500,000 or more. I don't know if that's an like, accurate number, but I know it's not in the... The the uh, twenty thousands like it ain't like twenty thousand, fifty thousand, no shit like that. Like it's it's a pretty high number, and a lot of places got them. Like I'm on the East Coast. East Coast got more pairs than the West Coast, and it always happens like that. I don't know why, but uh, the second reason is because the price point. Like I don't nobody want to constantly keep spending two hundred plus dollars on a shoe that started from ninety dollars and trickled all the way up to two twenty in the. I said the last 10 years, and everybody said, oh, well, it's inflation. It's only inflation if you let it be inflation. Meaning, if we keep putting these shoes in demand, then they're gonna keep raising the fucking prices. And I don't think they're, they're, they're I don't I don't really see them dropping the price, knock on wood, because I usually every year they raise it $10. $10. I haven't heard, heard any talks of raising to 200 yet, and I think they may stay at this price and they may have no choice but to drop at least $15 or $5 something because the, their products are not moving. I mean, they it's moving at a good pace, but it's not moving how they want to move. Like, like in a, the I say the last two previous years, Jordans, even if the Jordans didn't sell well. They still moved within a couple days. Jordans ain't moving in months now. Like, 
I mean, come on, the shoe is 220 and let's be honest, y'all already know me, I'm a fucking cheapskate. The only way I really spend that kind of money on a shoe, if it's resale and I don't have no trades and I can't find it nowhere cheaper, only reason I'm even up to get these damn shoes is for one, it's two reasons. One is Valentine's Day is actually tomorrow and my wife, this was like a part of the gift. She she helped me pay for it. She basically paying for majority of it, and I just make up the rest. So that's the that's the biggest reason why I'm even getting get paying two twenty for a shoe retail. Like I hate paying more than shit. I hate paying more than one seventy for a retail shoe. I, I know it sounds weird that you I would pay that for a resale shoe, but that's it. I'm I put it to you like this. If I pay that for a resale shoe, it's because I got it months or years later. It's not like I got the shoe two days after it released and paid the resale value. Like I at least give it time. I go because if it's gonna stay at that price or it'll go go higher or anything, what's the point to rush to get it? Like like Jordans, there's no need to be stunting on. I mean, everybody Jordans are like Air Force Ones now. Everybody got a pair. I don't know which kind, but everybody got at least one pair of Jordans. And I, I, the only way I say no, some people don't got Jordans because they're not in the sneakers. That's it. Other than that, shit, even those people sometimes really got Jordans. So, damn, hold on. I think I'm going this way. Yeah. Uh, but with that being said, uh, the, the other reason, uh, I really would have to explain that to y'all. Like, I can't talk about it right now. It's too fucking too much. So, right now, I'm on my way to pick up my brother. Damn, I'm going the wrong way talking to y'all. Ain't y'all for it. I'm just not paying attention. But anyway, I'm going to pick up my brother from his house. So we going to go. Uh, we on his dummy mission. I told y'all I won one raffle through my girl, and I'm not banking on that pair right now because I got to 12 o'clock, and a lot of places said first come first serve. So this asshole was bitching, thinking he wasn't going to win one raffle. Nigga end up winning six. I'm like, what the fuck? That's when I knew this shoe is literally either overproduced or people just tired of paying that. Highest, highest price because no way in hell he should have won no fucking six raffles. That's crazy. So we said, well, you got six different places to go. You ain't in a rush to go to none of these places. I said, let's do this then. Uh, this is before I even uh, got the, my girl got the call. I said, let's just go to uh, King of Pressure because there's two, three places in there that's going first come first serve. But we're not camping. Like that's why I said I, it's kind of sort of a hype beast theory. Like. Uh, I'm just gonna go uh, look and see if it's like a real massive line. If it's a massive line, I'm not even gonna waste my time. I will at Springfield Mall. Then I'm gonna shoot over to King of Pressure, and I think I should I shouldn't have to worry about nothing because it's a house hoop, so they should have more than enough pairs. If not, then I go to the other spot. If they don't have it, then I'm gonna try online. And if all else fails, I just go get my secure pair. So that's my thing. But I mean, it's still. Uh, it, 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 it's just due, but I'm, I'm still kind of irritated because I really want to get that full experience back of uh, camping. Like, this is not a full experience. This is just like a tease, meaning like, it's like, uh, like it's kind of camping, but it's not. Like, I'm just... The only reason I'm really like second reason I'm doing this is because my brother begged me. He was like, yo, we should do it like the old days when we used to just like... Basically, even if we had the shoe, or we already knew we was gonna get the shoe, we go to a million places just to see what the turnout look like. But it's like it's not, it's not fun anymore, man. It's like a fucking business, and like it's crazy. This is this is kind of oh my god, it's fucking snowing. I didn't even know that. It's kind of, yeah. By the way, it's, another reason I wouldn't be camping in the, for no more. I don't think it's because well, at least in the winter, it's fucking two degrees out here. Like literally, I'm not bullshitting. You. Two fucking degrees out here. No way in fucking hell. So I'm literally doing like the old school style when I was young. I'm literally going to the mall as soon as it opens and I'm walking in and get my shoe and I'm leaving. That's it. So he just wanted to go back to that old style. Like we just wanted to get the feel back. But I'm like, we can try, but I, I guarantee you it's not going to be how we used to be. Like I told, uh, this is my, this is my saying to everybody. I said, you never miss nothing until it's gone. Like we don't have campouts anymore. And it, like at this point in age, What's the fucking point to? Because some of the most covenant shoes or the most uh, hyped up shoes, severely limited shoes, is not as hard to get as back then. I mean, they're still hard to get, don't get me wrong, but it's not like back then. Back then, oh my fucking God, like, you 
You wouldn't have a chance in hell getting no fucking OVO 10s if this was 2012. Kiss my black ass. You wouldn't have no chance in hell getting a limited LeBron, Kobe, or uh, what was that one? Or KD, unless you knew one of their employees, or <clears throat> you just had buku money, or you had a million resellers in line. That, or you really in a camp hard body for days. That was the only way you was getting the shoe. Nowadays, it's maybe like one or two shoes that release where you, know, you have to do that shit. But back then, it was like multiples. So that's why I said it'll never be that way again. So yeah. I, I, that's why I said this is what a time to be a sneakerhead because we get to separate the real from the fake. We just get to separate the people who really about this life, really passionate about it. And then we get to separate it from the fake people who just in it because it's a fad and it's the thing for the time or they all about the money. They just want to make a quick flip. So, I'm going to shut up now because it's already longer than I thought it was going to be, like usual. Uh, and I get back to y'all when I get this guy. Quick intervene. Do y'all see these streets? If anybody drive that's from the uh, tri-state area that's been up Springfield, Marple Road, what is this? Baltimore, this is not Baltimore Pike, is it? I think this is Baltimore Pike or... Yeah, it's Pearl Road. This is Baltimore Park. I know that. Y'all know damn well these streets is never this goddamn empty. This is the first time I can ever say almost ever I ever seen these streets empty. But anyway, let's get back to it. It's the famous Henry Pyatt. Oh my God, look at all oh, your boobs get big, dude. What the hell are you wearing? Yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> You look like a big sissy. <laughs> no, you like a, a, a damn a, a big sissy burglar. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to King of Pressure. We could stay here, but it's there's too many people, and I already know they're not gonna have enough pairs. So we're going. Oh, shut up! I don't think so. Well, we're just gonna go where we know we can be secure. Okay, we uh, <laughs> the cops was right there. So I was like, listen, I don't trust cops, but I was gonna record the line, but it was too many cops around there, so I didn't even bother. But that line for uh, Foot Locker, that now that's like the old days. My God, like it had to be at least 50 people over there. So we're just gonna go upstairs to the villa. So if I can't get them through the villa. Then I'm gonna try online. If it don't work online, then I just will get that secure pair. So I'm not really stressing, and he's not stressing either. <laughs> Stink out here. So uh, I'll try to record the line at Villa, because I'm pretty sure it will be one. Not that bad, but I don't know if I want to wait here. Yeah. Poor Jesus. Some of people be having like over 500 things of clothes. Let me just, I'm gonna just take the line. I ain't gonna go all the way down. I'm gonna zoom in. <laughs> he was like, sir, is there a new shoe? Look at this. Look at that shit. You see that? It's just getting long. Oh my God. And it got longer. It don't hurt the track. Okay. <laughs> got him, young man. We got him by the skin of our teeth. And I still got three raffle tickets. <laughs> skin of our teeth. We want to kick. We came here first. Seen, shut up. <laughs> Seeing a lot of people, so I, mean, I, don't, I, don't, I go to Camp Pressure where I think I'll be more uh, secure. Open, yeah, they should be open now. Uh, you thought I'd go there? I don't give a fuck. Man, uh, Went there, thought it'd be secure. Nope. Went to the other store in there. Nope. So we came all the way back here. Line got bigger. Thought I wasn't going. Let's put this in the car first. Thought I wasn't going to get them. And I actually come come up with tourism. Got the size I wanted. So I'll get back to put a view later and an unboxing of another store like that. Yeah, you know, every time I walk past here, it's so, so when you.